Yeah, obviously tough seeing him go down, but uh, you know, even on the sidelines, he uh, still had a smile on his face. That just kind of speaks to who he is. He's kind of the glue guy in our room, always uh, making everyone laugh and always just having a positive spirit. And he's just like the best dude. And he's only been here for like nine months, but he's just kind of like dove in and just he's just been awesome for the group. So it's it's just tough to lose a guy like that. We when you a few months ago, just your expanded role stepping up. I mean, do you feel even more responsibility now after even more than when Lachey went down? Uh, it's always next man up, so uh, you know it's it's Eric's a great player who we've kind of relied on a lot this year. So uh, not having him out there is going to be a little tough. So uh, I'm ready to go, and uh, just whatever we're going to game plan, I'm ready to execute that. When you transfer to Iowa, is this something that you envision for yourself? I mean, you know, coming from Lafayette here. Yeah, I think just. Whenever you come somewhere, you want to work your hardest to get to the top, and I know it would be a, a challenge and a climb. Uh, you know, there was probably an easier path to the field, some of the other places I was looking at. But uh, you know, this is what you dream for. This is what you work for. So, you know, obviously unfortunate how everything played out, but I, I'm excited to, you know, showcase what I can do at this level. With Iowa's reputation at this position group, um, how much did that play into the, the you coming here, and have you seen that reason why that reputation matters since you've been here? Uh, definitely, that was. Uh, one of the main reasons why I came here uh, I think outside of like fitting fitting in with the group uh, the guys on the team here um, the, just the reputation and the success at the position uh, has really uh, was one of the main reasons why I came here and I think it just speaks uh, so well to Coach Ferris and the staff and how they operate, just how well they develop uh, players. You know, I feel like I've grown quite a bit as a player, uh, even as an older player coming in here from a year ago um, just reps and coaching and taking that hard coaching uh, I think they do do things the right way where have you grown the most maybe even just in season now that you're you know going from tight end three slash four to tight end one yeah uh, I think just just nailing the run game mm -hmm. uh, first steps pad level hands inside all that sort of stuff uh, and just uh, coach Hodge just doing a good job of uh, really uh, making me confident in my play and uh, you know showing what I need to work on but overall just uh, having uh, being able to have positive coaching and saying like you're doing a great job here keep keep us up or telling me things I need to improve on so I think that's a that's a big thing have you seen I mean in what ways are is Iowa built for success in the, as a tight end university I mean and, and have you seen that since you've been here if you, if you like okay this is why they have four starting tight ends in a while. Yeah. Um, well, I think obviously the offense is designed to get the tight ends the ball and uh, put them on in uh, key blocks in the run game. So uh, just showcasing your ability to do that is obviously uh, looked at by the NFL. And uh, without the tight ends, Coach Hodge always said, if we don't handle our business in our room, the offense isn't going to work. So uh, we, Coach Brian puts a lot of pressure on us uh, to do our jobs, whether that's in the pass game or the run game. So I think uh, just having that responsibility and knowing that a lot of the success of the offense comes down to us, then uh, I think that just prepares you for success in the future. You've played with a lot of great tight ends. Do you model any of your game uh, of the game off the games of a Laporta or Luke Lachey or Eric? And is there anywhere you find yourself to be unique in your game? Yeah, I think everyone's a little bit unique in their own way. Like like Sam is just a, just a Swiss Army knife. He kind of does everything real well. And yeah, uh, Luke is more of just like a athletic freak and same with Eric and you know, I think I can I, I can block really well and I'm more of like a thicker guy stouter guy um, so I think being able to move guys off the ball is what I take pride in and just learning how they attack leverage in the in the past game and uh, you know how they run their routes I think that's something I can I've learned from them and you know it's, it's just awesome to go to work with those guys because they're so talented and they're all going to do great things in the NFL and uh, just being able to if you told me this five years ago that I'd be here playing with those guys, I had zero stars. I had two Division One offers coming out of FCS offers out of high school. So if you told me that five years ago, I would have laughed at you. So, um, you know, it's pretty cool to learn from those guys, especially seeing how awesome Sam's doing in the NFL now. What have you 